welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're returning, thanks again for watching. Today, today, we have a twin date. We're gonna go meet Jessica, um, and we're going to go to the Brooklyn Museum to see the Book of Hope. If you're wondering why I got on my Yankee hat, you know, I try to be cute with my New York fit, so check it out. Okay, outfit of the day, I have my Yankee cap with this Fashion Nova windbreaker, my Telfar bag, and my off-whites. And we are going to the Jay-Z exhibit. So, definitely wanted to bring out the New York fit. There you have it. Hey, y'all, and I'm here with Jessica. Hey, y'all. Tell them where we're headed. We are going to see the Book of Hope at the Public Library. Yes, we're excited. Yeah. Alright, so here we have Jay Z's album cover, Reasonable Doubt. This friend, it's a few. A couple other of Jay Z's albums. Nice, we got some pictures of Jay-Z, some paintings. Jay-Z in Paris. From Marcy to Madison Square. Right now we are waiting on the line so we can go into the baseline studio. Inside the studio. And this is the Barclay Center. So right now, you know, we're inside the museum. Definitely saw a lot of Jay-Z's albums, book covers and stuff like that. Went inside of the studio. It's only with the first floor and it's already a lot of stuff. Um, excited to see what else the exhibit has. This is the upstairs view. Newspaper articles, remember newspapers, guys? Oh my god, um, daily news, Jay Z sold out concert. What's up? Mm -hmm. It's crazy, we got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so Jessica, let me know what you think already so far. I love that. I like how there's like a little bit of everything there's album art, there's different artifacts. Pictures. I love it. I'm definitely learning a lot about Jay Z too, but I'm loving it already. Wow, this must be from all the concerts. <laughs> wow. What a collection. Was the school, the 
ensuing impact was crucial. Here was a barrier that Jay-Z stood up to and effectively knocked down for his peers and rappers behind him to follow. The message was clear. He belonged on every stage. Carnegie Hall, where he was the first hip-hop artist to headline the venue. Yankee Stadium, home to his beloved Bronx Bombers. And the Royal Albert Hall, a legendary venue in London. Finding the likes of Glastonbury and Coachella then sparked a crucial question. Why don't we have our own festival? Enter Made in America, which for 11 years and running has annually centered the biggest and most deserving acts in our culture. I think the thing about music what we all recognize, if you take away genres of music, rock, country, rap, in truth, it's all the same thing. It's about passion, it's about pain, it's about love. One of the core tenets of Jay-Z's business acumen has been to take the hip-hop standards and practices and maximize them. The worlds of hip hop and basketball are two parallel roads stemming out of the same neighborhoods. Jay Z made his stake in the Nets and their relocation to Brooklyn an event, centering the same blocks he once hustled out of into one of the city's main attractions. Sean Tyre, aka Jay Z, with your leadership, the Barclays Center will be the hottest music venue and the most successful arena in the world.
selected, therefore you must select me. Correct is my objective. Be most effective. Be direct. Objective be perfected. My beautiful grandmother, her name is Hattie White. She raised seven kids. On top of that, her kids had kids. And we all were raised in the same house, one household. I asked her, I said, how much money did you make? And she made $20 a week. And she said, uh, no, but it was fine. You do a lot with $20 in those days. And with that sort of attitude, that's, that's where I grew up. I grew up believing I could do anything, that I could accomplish anything because of those strong women in my house. I feel like I'm the representative for like a, a whole bunch of people out there, you know, who don't have this for them. Who may, you know, talk eloquently, but they don't know how to put it in rhyme form. Right. All I'm doing is taking their words and their conversation, the conversation that I'm having every day, and just putting it in the rhyme form. And just, I'm that voice. I'm that, I get that cry from the ghetto. And I know what I didn't want, I know what I want, I want full control over my music, you know what I mean? We decided, you know, I mean, why, why do all this work, put all this work in it, and just give all this money to these major companies when we can do it ourselves? All we need is distribution, and we're working on that now. We're going to find a way around that distribution. The record company was uh, become successful, and we believed we could do anything at that point. It was like, well, they wouldn't give us a record deal, we started a record label. They won't give us a COVID deal, let's start a COVID line. So I thought I had a responsibility to the culture to show it in a different light, that we can't ascend the executive levels, because who better the culture to play is than the people who play the game. I like to advance every year, to advance myself. I have more fear going back than losing money. I'm sure we walked in, we started Rock Nation, and everyone looked and said, University or Def Jam, like we built the brand. We are culture. Nothing moves without us. There's a knowing in being an artist. There's a knowing. You can't guess, you can't think. There's a knowing. And then a lot of people will try to put their fears on you. You can't do that. No, you can't do it. Hmm. Are you crazy? How are you going to do that? How? My uncle said I never sold a million records. I sold a million records like a million times. You know, you get to a point in your life and you like really focus on what's important. That's what really just brings me genuine happiness. Our kids, they don't have those, they don't have a legacy, so, you know, they don't have those businesses that they can just, you know, step into. We want to put together something real special that our kids and our kids' kids know I have a place, I have something for me at Rockefeller, you know. So my goal is that, that the next generation can have a better start than I had. We won't have to start so far, you know, where I come from. So we have to take care of our family first. And that's all I want to do for the young. I want them to be better than me. I want them to go further. I want to look back and be like, man, they took that baton and like, look what they did with it.
Got some records. Talking love. Got last night. edition library cards but the one that they have here today is the blueprint hey y'all hey. so we just finished visiting the book of hold exhibit um jesse what did you think um i loved it I, honestly i will come back again um the next time i come back i would actually listen to audio but i love seeing you know the different albums the awards um stuff that you know he had like on tour just it was a whole bunch it was definitely a vibe i would definitely recommend you guys to check it out um before it ends i think it ends in october so if you have a moment come out to brooklyn yeah i think what i what i really like is how much stuff they had like they had different magazines different like concert passes like someone's grandma was holding on to all that stuff for all these years so shout out to them definitely and i say this to this day beyonce and jay-z need to have like a museum together or something because between the both of them they have so many things and it was just really exciting to see all the artifacts that were well preserved yes so thank you for tuning in catch you guys next time